So guys, uh, welcome again to Mosty Academy Physics channel. I think the request video is what is now trending now because once I check my mail nowadays, I got to see different request video. And the one we have today, as you can see, I think this is a very simple one. I just decided to come and to just quickly do this one for you guys to see. The question is uh, if a beam from a source of uh, 100 watt is incident, incident on a black body. I think that is just a little bit of uh, understanding little things of mass of uh, 50 kg in speed at rest. That means the black body is at rest. And you know the interpretation of black body what it simply means is that uh, what we just need to give is all body, all the ray that is applied to it is definitely going to be used. So none of the ray will be transmitted. So the question is to find the acceleration of the body. So finding the acceleration of the body, I think this question I'm talking about is wave particle duality. So let's do that. Let's start here. If we start from here, we can just write a solution part there so that everybody can see the first solution. So we have learned from junior classes that uh, the force acting on the body can be written in terms of everybody knows force is a vector quantity. It is a popular formula from the dynamics and mechanics. It is the product of mass and the acceleration, which is also a vector quantity. Similarly, you might have also studied under the concept of work energy and power that uh, the force acting on a body can also be written as uh, the force. It's the same thing as saying the power. You know that very well. The power, which is the uh, power, is given as a uh, force times velocity. You know that that is the power divided by the velocity. So in this case, we are only considering a black body. Just trying to explain to that understanding is very important. In which a ray of light is applied to a beam of light. You know, this body weight is at rest according to this. So as the beam of light is striped to the body, you know, none of this ray will be passing through the body because black body absorb all the ray of light. A perfect black body, we talked about that under the concept of heat and thermal energy. So, like I said, it is just a very simple question. I only need you to know the formula. So the next thing is from here. If we are told that uh, the mass of this body is given as 550 kg and the body is said to be at rest. So continuing that, I don't want you guys to just want you guys to see what I've written so far. So I can set the formula and I can set accelerations to get a formula here. Acceleration vector is equals to force divided by the mass. So if we go by this, I just want you guys to see what I'm doing. I hope you can see this. So if we go by this, we can now say if we substitute F is P by V, so directly we can say acceleration is the same thing as saying service P by V. So this will be P. Has the power divided by mv. So directly, my dear friend, the question you are asking to solve is just a direct formula which I can say acceleration is same as power all over mass times the velo velocity. So having said that, I don't think there's any other thing here for us to solve. So the next thing we can just say here now, we have now concluded that acceleration is equal to the power in this question is 100 divided by the mass in the question is 50 and the speed. Yeah, this is just the only thing I can think is technical to some extent. And it is not that technical to be honest. It's only application for you to know that the body will move and the speed of light. The topic for under the wave particle duality of light, which I believe you might have studied. So the speed of light is constant. That's the only thing here, 3 times 10 is power. It's on simplification, we can say acceleration of the body. You can follow your direct method by using your calculator and 
can also turn this one in standard form as you have seen. I can make this stainless to power. This is stainless to power two, apologies. This is stainless to power two. And this is I'm saying five times three times ten is power nine. Now turn fifty to five times ten is power one, which I got it's most one to be nine. I hope you can see that. So this is just a matter of calculator. So the same thing as an acceleration here is same thing as the two minus nine seven ten is power negative seven divided by fifteen. So in conclusion, you can now say the formula, the final answer for this question, which is the acceleration, is just equals to in meters per second square. It's about uh, 10 divided by 15 should be 0 0.667, 6.6 or 6.7 times 10 is per negative 9 meters per second square. So I think, or like I do say, I know that should be the right answer for the question. And uh, I think the direct question, as you can see, very simple to solve if you are studying some simple formula, even without knowing where particularity of light. If you know the simple formula and the application, you will be able to solve this one. So, guys, if you want to also send a different video, attend to me at mostly.com. You might be fortunate to pick your question. Most of the questions I see nowadays are useful. Some, some of them I do share on my mobile to see. Some I send back to the mail directly for students to go see. So guys, uh, I'll see you soon. If you're a newcomer, please subscribe to these channels of ours and every other channel of the Academy. You have a wonderful time. Stay blessed. Bye for.